Chairwoman Fox. Harvard President Claudine Gay was thrust into the spotlight last week after she and two other major university presidents balked at questions about how anti-Semitism is handled on their campuses. So the answer is yes, that calling for the genocide of Jews violates Harvard Code of Conduct, correct? Again, it depends on the context. It does not depend on the context. The answer is yes, and this is why you should resign. Lawmakers, alumni, and scholars called for Gay to step down after her remarks. Now she's in even more hot water over her academic work. Researchers Chris Rufo and Chris Brunette allege Gay plagiarized sections of her PhD dissertation. One of the scholars Gay is accused of plagiarizing is Dr. Carol Swain, a longtime professor of law and political science at Vanderbilt University. The harm to me wasn't just two passages that she lifted from my prize-winning book. I believe it extends to the fact that her whole research uh, program seems to have been derivative of my prize-winning book. Gay declined to be interviewed for this story, but told the Boston Globe Monday, I stand by the integrity of my scholarship. Despite that claim, the governing body of Harvard said Tuesday Gay will ask for corrections to some of her academic writings where there was, quote, inadequate citation. But for Dr. Swain, that may not be enough. If Claudine Gay was a white male or female or even a black conservative, uh, they would have been fired by now. And so the penalty normally for plagiarism at that level is that you lose your position, but most people would resign. Harvard said Tuesday it's standing by gay, but UPenn President Liz McGill, who made similar comments to Congress last week, announced her resignation Saturday. In Washington, I'm Scott Thuman.